Hi, Alice, it's Dav. All right? Sorry, stupid question. Clearly not all right. I've never been nervous about calling you before. Well, not since you gave me a number and I called you for the first time. <laughs> and I know that this is weird. Believe me, I know. I know that we should be doing things together. Going to the pub, going to the cinema, going for long walks on the beach, actually seeing each other. <laughs> Don't think that I wouldn't do anything to... I've thought about driving out to see you loads of times, but a week ago I sat in the car for an hour and I kept putting my hand on the key and then taking it away again. I even put a box of things in the boot to bring to you. Blankets, some eggs, some shower gel, Monopoly. <laughs> that way, if the police pulled me over, I could say that I was on a mercy mission, bringing supplies to you and your mum because you were cold and dirty and wanted to play a board game while eating an omelette. <laughs> but I couldn't do it because I can't lie. This thing happens to my face when I lie. I go all red and blotchy, so I can't lie. I never got away with anything as a kid. <laughs> Breaking windows, missing Mars bars, cheeking the neighbors. Dad could always tell. It's like my Krypton lying. I feel guilty when I see a police car. I sit up straight, look, Directly ahead. <laughs> Stupid, really. I'm a stupid person in many ways. <sighs> this is hard. It is really hard. And I keep telling myself to be positive, but it's hard. I've lost count of the number of times I've muttered, it will pass. But then I think it's just like Bobby Pritchard. I used to play rugby with Bobby Pritchard in school. He never used to bloody pass. <sighs> the trouble is that there are so many people like you and me trying to do the right thing. Loads of us behind closed curtains and silent driveways. All of us wanting to see people, hug people, kiss people, but we can't. And it is shit. And then you get some of those people telling us to stay indoors, doing whatever they like driving to God knows where, doing God knows what. <laughs> I wish I had their arrogance, but I haven't. <laughs> Listen, I will understand if this is, um, you know, if, if you don't want me to, um, well, if you'd rather I didn't, you know, I think you know what I'm saying. I just don't want to say it. You are very special, Alice. I've never met anyone like you before in my life. And I never thought that I would. Speaking to you on the phone, listening to the messages that you leave me, they're like a lifeline. When all around me is circling sharks. And dad. <laughs> I don't like seeing you upset. I don't like hearing you upset. I can't stand it.
I got the uh, jumper that you knitted me, by the way. <laughs> Hold on, I'll put it on for you. Stay there. <laughs> it's um, not really my style. Not my size. <laughs> and they're not really my colours. <laughs> It's pretty far from perfect. But I wouldn't change it for anything else in the world. <laughs>